Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today I want to talk about the um, supply drops in Modern Warfare. Also about, these are also called loot boxes. And Activision has actually come out recently and said that there will not be any loot boxes in this game. Instead, they're actually going to have a battle pass system where you pay for a pass each season and then you unlock all the cosmetics in the game. You can also earn all the cosmetics in the game so you don't need to buy the, um, you don't need to buy the pass either. This this is a step in the right direction. This is better than loot boxes because loot boxes, you know, they've been abused in many games um, in the past years. You know, one game that I play a lot was Modern Warfare Remastered, and in that game, the loot box system is pretty disgusting because there's so many DLC guns that are just locked behind loot boxes, and it's just such a grind to unlock them. It takes so long to unlock them, and it's random. So I really hope that with this Modern Warfare that you can actually unlock what you want and actually grind for whatever you want since you can unlock it in the game you could just grind for what you want not that it's a random chance that you're going to get this gun like in previous games so i'm going to be reading this article about it and i'm also going to let you guys know what i think about it as well as we're going to cover you know the um exclusivity of the survival mode on the ps4 which that is kind of messed up that the xbox and the pc don't get but i'm going to talk about that a little later so let's start reading this article and i will also link this article down below in case anybody wants to read it so it's says here so long supply drops call of duty ditches loot boxes in the upcoming modern warfare players will have to unlock all weapons and attachments through gameplay in a major reversal for the franchise activision has announced that the upcoming call of duty modern warfare will not include a loot box system specifically the company says that all functional content that has had an impact on game balance such as base weapons and attachments can be unlocked simply by playing the game that's good it's definitely a step in the right direction. Loot boxes have been a staple of the Call of Duty franchise since 2014's Advanced Warfare, which included randomized supply drops of high-end gear that could be purchased with real money or in-game currency. More recently, Call of Duty Black Ops 4 introduced a loot box system four months after its launch, a decision that led to a lot of money for the publisher and a lot of anger from franchise fans. Now, I didn't play Black Ops 4, but I heard about a lot of people being upset with that game because just how bad the loot box system is in it. And it says here, user interface elements from last month's Modern Warfare beta suggested Activision was planning to continue the tradition with a loot box common supply drop option in the upcoming game. But developer Infinity Ward took to Reddit earlier this week to offer some pushback on those reports, saying that right now we are definitely not working on any kind of supply drop or loot box system. Activision was even clearer in a blog post today saying that the game will forego randomized item drops in favor of letting players unlock all weapons and functional attachments only through gameplay. Much like Fortnite, Modern Warfare will also feature a battle pass system with free and premium streams of cool new Modern Warfare themed content on a season by season basis. That system will allow players to see the content that they are earning or buying. Activision promises and will launch later this year and sometime after the game's October 25th launch. So all content in the game is going to be free and you know you can unlock it by grinding through the game or you can get that battle pass. But the thing is though is we don't know the game itself, how it's going to work yet, because, you know, this game, as I'm talking right now, the game is supposed to release in, what, four or five days, and the the items, even though there might be a battle pass, there is going to be a battle pass, sorry, my correction there, but even though there is going to be a battle pass um, system, and that's, I think that's, me personally, I think that's better than the loot boxes, but... On the other hand, we don't know how much of a grind it's going to be because they could put in the battle pass thing and then what they could do is everything could be a massive, massive grind. Like, it could be ridiculous. Now, I don't mind grinding for um, for something in a game. You know, I'm pretty used to it. I do it on GTA a lot. But if you've got to grind and grind and grind endlessly just to get one gun or, you know, one specific attachment, I think people are going to get really annoyed by that. So hopefully the grind is not too bad. But you want to know something? Me personally, I don't believe Activision and Infinity Ward when they... They said, um, what was it here? They said that they had no plans for a loot box um, or supply drop system. I don't believe them. I don't believe them that they had no plans for that. You're telling me that Activision, a major publisher um, that has just shoved, shoved loot boxes in so many of their games, you know, and you, you can see just how bad loot boxes are, even in sport games, even in sport games like FIFA, and, you know, that's a different company, but still, just loot boxes are just getting involved in so many games or being shoved into so many games, so they, I, the idea that they didn't plan to put any kind of loot boxes in this game i'm not buying it because what happened was i remember when this game you know when when this game was first being revealed and you know we had our earlier 
early trailers, and then he had some interviews. I remember specifically in the interviews, when the interviewers would ask about loot boxes, they said, we can't talk about that right now. It was always, we can't talk about that. They wouldn't go into detail. And then what actually happened was there was rumors about, about, um, about a few weeks ago, there was rumors that came out that said that the loot boxes in Modern Warfare will be pay to win and that guns are going to be unlocked in them. And you know, I don't normally pay attention to these rumors. I don't really care for rumors. But the reason I took some interest in this specifically is because what scared me about it is the developers did not come out right then and there and say, no, loot boxes will not be in our game. It will not be pay to win. They didn't come out and say that right away. They didn't. And now, a few weeks later, they're coming out and saying we will not have any loot boxes or, you know, any um, supply drops in the game. And I think it's because they saw the backlash. Because, you know, I knew this game was going to have some kind of disaster. You know, I felt I felt that it was going to have some kind of disaster. I just I just knew it. I felt it in my gut that something was going to go wrong, and it did. It was with the, um, with the exclusivity deal that they have where Spec Ops Survival is going to be locked. Locked. For, um, for PS4 and Xbox One and PC are going to get it a full year later. Now look, I'm a PS4 guy, so that means I'm going to get survival right away. But even though I'm going to get survival right away, I'm still pretty angry about this. I'm still pretty pissed off about this because it's not fair to, it's not fair to um, you know, PC and Xbox players. You know, I'd be really, really annoyed if, you know, I, if it was Xbox that would just get it or if PC would just get it. You know, you shouldn't be locking stuff like this exclusivity it shouldn't just be exclusive to one specific console for one year i remember i remember when microsoft back in the day it was in 2008 when they paid rockstar off millions of dollars rockstar games for gta 4 and the dlc for gta 4 was locked a full year for ps3 ps3 did not get the episodes from liberty city for a full year because microsoft paid off uh, microsoft paid off rockstar games and that was messed up then and this is messed up now you know i don't understand why we can't just everybody can just play on their system have all the content you want to play on xbox you can play on xbox you want to play on ps4 you, you can play on ps4 you want to play on pc you can play on pc but instead you have this ex exclusivity nonsense and this is not good for their game you know they might have been paid off by sony they definitely were paid off by Sony a certain amount. But, you know, is that money going to be worth it? Because pre-order sales, you know, dr have dropped dramatically when they found out that Spec Ops Survival was not going to be in the game. And then, you know, the developer downplayed it and said that Spec Ops Survival is only going to be 1% of the game. Really? Only 1% of the game? I don't believe it. You had a whole trailer for Spec Ops. You had a whole trailer for Spec Ops the other day. A whole trailer for that mode. So you're telling me that you're going to have a trailer for a mode that's only 1% of the game? All the maps that Spec Ops Survival is going to have, all the different enemies that are going to spawn in that, you're telling me that that's only 1% of the game? I don't buy it. You know, Modern Warfare, it's 33% campaign, 33% Spec Ops, 33% multiplayer. You have, you have three parts of the game, multiplayer, Spec Ops, and campaign. And Survival is a big part of the Spec Ops. We don't know how many Spec Ops missions there are going to be, but it's a big part of the game. And how are, you know... Xbox and PC players going to feel about that because you you know they they were acting like a year they were acting like a year isn't a long time they're like oh it's for a year like it's not a long time that's a long time a year and by the time it finally releases for you know the Xbox and the PC most people aren't going to care because then the new Call of Duty is going to come out so you're just basically taking away a huge portion of the game for Xbox and PC players for a whole year. So we're going to have to see how that all works out. And I'm really curious how this game is going to sell. Is this going to be the best selling Call of Duty game of all time? Because what they've done with the campaign, I like the direction the campaign is going in. You know, I like the dark, uh, shadowy elements of like, you know, this this horrible like war, this dark atmosphere that they're going with. You know, this dark storyline um, It's probably going to be pretty sad, pretty gruesome. I like that though. I like that, you know, I like storylines like that that are pretty dark, that they aren't just, you know, this crazy action over the top stuff where you just shoot everybody, shoot all the bad guys, and you win, happy ending. I like the way that they're they're going with the campaign in Modern Warfare. I think that's definitely stepping in the right direction. It seems like they're doing the right thing with this Battle Pass thing because, you know, all content is going to be free in the future. But we're going to have to see exactly because a week from now, this game's coming out less than a week, I should say, but... We're going to have to see exactly what happens there, how it all works out, how bad the grind is going to be. And they're not going to, um, they're not going to, um, add on the Spec Ops for PC and Xbox anytime soon. They're not going to back out of that. They made a deal with Sony for a full year, so they're not going to get it. And it's a real shame because you're advertising the game as crossplay. 
You know, this is the big game that's being advertised as crossplay. You know, Xbox, PC, PS4, everyone can play together. That's what they're advertising the game as, where everybody can just join together, doesn't matter what system you are, play together, have fun, and now what you're doing is you're locking a huge portion of your players out of a, a big portion of the game. That is really messed up. So we're going to have to see what happens to this game. I'm curious about its sales. So let me know what do you guys think down below. What do you guys think of what Activision is doing? Do you believe them? Do you think they're going to handle this game correctly? And if you're on the Xbox or the PC, let me know down below how you feel about this issue. How, how annoyed are you that, uh, you know, that Xbox and PC aren't going to get this stuff for a year? So that's my thoughts on it. This game's coming out in a few days. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like. And if you're new to my channel, enjoy my content, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone.